Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a really fun monthly lifestyle box that has been sent to me for review called Fruit for Thought. If you're not familiar, Fruit for Thought always has a fruit or food theme for the month. And then all of the items in that box will have that flavor, scent, or color palette. So it makes for a really delightful experience every month. The box is $41.99 plus $7.99 in shipping, but I do have a code where you can save 10% on your first box. It's simply Noel 10 As always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. If you happen to be new to my channel, I box all kinds of subscription boxes, mostly lifestyle boxes, but also books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell, and that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, and of course, whenever I go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. This is what the interior looks like with their special Fruit for Thought tissue paper, which comes, I think, in two different colorways. But let's go ahead and dive in and see what this month's theme has in store for us. She does often sell out, you guys, so definitely be on the lookout. Get on the list for the next month or when you see a theme that you know you're really gonna enjoy if it's one of your favorite fruits or foods. She also does limited edition boxes, usually one per quarter. So those are really fun as well. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's like twice the value because there are more items inside. Usually these monthly boxes have like five to six items and usually a couple of them are edible treats, which is always really fun. Usually not actually a fresh fruit, but sometimes that flavor, like I said. All right, so I am very excited because this is actually the August box. I'm playing catch up a little bit, and August is my birthday month, and this is one of my favorite things to have when I'm on vacation, which is a pina colada because I love pineapples and I love coconuts, and of course I love an adult beverage. So I always feel like if I am on a tropical vacation, it really starts when I am poolside and someone is bringing me one of these, right? So now on the backside, it does tell us more about the actual products. She usually includes the Instagram handles of the companies where applicable so that we can find them over there. And when I do take photos for these boxes, I do try to tag them as well so you can find them for yourself. But let's go ahead Ahead and see so I am seeing some edible treats in here this is what it looks like here we go all right so the first thing I am seeing is something that I was only introduced to through subscription boxes a couple of years ago and it is a car coaster so it's a stone car coaster it's really cool it goes into the drink holder of your car obviously now I have a really old car so it doesn't have like the proper car um, like little holder it actually like kind of springs up and it's just weird so these don't actually work for my car but they definitely work for my husband's car and it's really nice because they have a little notch in them so it's easy to pull them out but it is great um, because it is absorbent and it works just like a coaster should so it absorbs the drips so when you do happen to go through the drive through and you know there's all that condensation happening instead of getting all wet and gross in there in your actual cup holder it all gets absorbed by this little guy and this one says it's fine o'clock somewhere and of course it has a nice coconut drink with some umbrellas and you're just gonna make you wish that that's what you were drinking but hopefully not since you're probably driving if you're in the car maybe you're the passenger and you're using the yeah, car coaster so says your five o'clock somewhere absorbent stone car coaster is made of absorbent stone to absorb excess condensation from beverages and keep the vehicle's cup holder clean and dry so great to use right all right, let's take a look at one of our edible items. So this is from a la carte Alice, gourmet gifts for all occasions. It is Polynesian chicken salad. Well, I can't imagine that there's actually Polynesian chicken salad in here. Maybe this is a mix that you add to say canned chicken or shredded chicken. That's what I'm guessing. It says mix packet with 12 ounce can of cooked chicken, small, 8.2 ounce crushed pineapple so I guess that's the size of crushed pineapple and one half cup of mayo so that sounds like a lot of mayo to me sometimes I will replace mayo in recipes with plain yogurt or sour cream just because like the mayo can be like a little tangy for me um, so it says the ingredients though of the mix are pecans parsley garlic powder red bell pepper flakes and spices it's one of those things where it probably seems a little indulgent when you're putting it together and then when you're actually eating it it probably tastes really good I might go a little light on the canned pineapple in all honesty because like that's not like one of my things I like fresh pineapple but when it comes to like pairing pineapple with like 
pizza or chicken, I don't usually go for those dishes. So I might just do like a hint of pineapple or maybe like leave that part out. I think that would still be a delicious mix though. So let's see what it says about this. It says Polynesian chicken salad makes a tasty quick sandwich spread or a great dip for your next party. Just add a can of pineapple, mayo, and canned chicken and all of the seasons and spices in a la carte mix are ready for you. So I was going to see if it's just like a little what it looks like inside. It's probably just a little bag, but it came in this nice little um, in this nice little container. So here you can see there are some pecans and all those spices. So yeah, I, I don't know. I think it'll probably be okay without the uh, pineapple. What do you guys think? So let me know in the comments below. Do you like Hawaiian pizza? Just, you can tell me. You can tell me. I think you can already tell that I am not a fan, but it's all right if you do. I get the like sweet and savory thing. It's just, I just find it weird to have hot fruit on pizza. Like I'm even a little iffy when it comes to having sliced tomatoes on pizza. I know there's tomato sauce, but there's something about having hot fruit. All right. Our other edible item in this box is from Cornucopia. It is popcorn. You guys, I have said it before. I will say it again. I love popcorn in all forms. I love sweet. I love savory. I love salty. I love cheddar popcorn. So this sounds really fun because it is indeed pina colada. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a sweeter, more desserty popcorn, which is fine by me. So let's see what it says about this. Get tropical this summer with Cornucopia Popcorn Limited Summer Edition Cocktail Inspired Popcorn. Coconut, pine pineapple and just a touch of salt give it a pina colada flavor you'll enjoy out by the pool while relaxing on the beach or while daydreaming about your next getaway I am already daydreaming about my next getaway I'm always like trip planning like usually like six months out or more and then it's just so fun to have something to look forward to is it not you guys I think it is so let's have a secret password while we're at it of course it's going to be pina colada so really it's two words if you're new to this whenever you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below and usually in the pinned first comment. And then at the end of the month, I will go through, I will use a random number picker. I will select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you for being a subscriber and for watching my videos in their entirety because I try to hide the secret passwords sometimes. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and this contest is in no way associated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. Just my way of saying thank you. Again, our secret password for today is, not surprisingly, pina colada. All right, we have some more items still. So we have, ooh, from Southern Fleek Bath, which is a company she's been using uh, pretty recently, and all of the products have been really fun. The scents from Southern Fleek Bath have been really, really good. So this is a pina colada body wash and bubble bath. All right, so even though I'm not uh, necessarily a bath girl, I can definitely use a body wash, so that's kind of nice. How many ounces is this? Four ounces, all right. So let's read about this one. Uh, so Southern Fleek Bath Moisturizing Body Wash is made with luxurious shea butter and leaves your skin soft and smooth. The Pina Colada fragrance is absolutely amazing. Fall in love with your thick and lush body wash. Great for shaving too. Ooh, that's great because I just ran out of my shaving cream and I like hate buying more, but you know, some body washes don't like froth up enough to work as shaving cream. So I'm going to hold on to it for that. And then I'm going to smell like a pina colada, which is going to make me want to go on vacation, which is when you need to shave your legs. So it is sealed. So I can't, ooh, I can still smell it. It smells just like a pina colada, you guys. Now I want a pina colada. It is definitely, it's definitely not the day for a pina colada, or at least not the time of day for a pina colada. All right. I guess every time of day is the time of pina colada. I mean, I could have a pina colada for breakfast. It's like, you know, it's always good. Pineapple and coconut's always good. We do have a lip balm. Now, lip balms, I always feel like, are just one of those things that some boxes, like, throw in as an item. So I have quite the collection of lip balms, and I give a lot of lip balms away. But I do like this brand because I've read the story of the founder. I think she's a pretty young entrepreneur, if I remember correctly. So I'm happy to see this one from Balm, uh, from Raw Lip Balm. So it says, pineapple and coconut lip balm. Spread our warm coconut fruity flavor all across your lips this summer with their new pineapple and coconut lip balm. Whether you're at the beach or hiking at the mountains, don't forget to toss this one-of-a-kind lip balm in your bag. So that's nice and they did include a little coupon code for subscribers so that's always a nice little addition. I think that is it for it. Oh we did get a jewelry item as well you guys so that's always kind of nice. So I think there was some variation. So it's receive either a cute leather pineapple bracelet with button closure or hook closure. Both are summery and fun. So mine 
I think has a button closure. Now, you guys know me, I love pineapples. I am all about pineapples. I just, not just because I'm from Hawaii, but I love them. This is not the kind of bracelet that I would normally wear though because it's kind of fits in that corded jewelry category where it just feels a little bit young to me. It's not like, it doesn't like go as well with a lot of the other stuff that I wear. But this is the kind of thing that you could definitely wear to the beach. I also really appreciate that with this button closure, there's not like a super long extender so it's not gonna like hang off your arm. And it's also a waxed cord so the nice thing about that is that it's not going to get all gross if you do wear it at the beach. It's pretty small. I think it would fit on my wrist pretty well and nice and snug. So it does seem like pretty good quality. It's just not like my personal jewelry style normally. I would, I'm would. i very happy that she included a jewelry piece in this box. I wish there were jewelry pieces in Fruit for Thought boxes more often just because I think it's really fun. Um, but... This is one that I will probably pass along even though I do love my pineapples just because I wouldn't find myself reaching for it that often. It's pretty cute though um, and it does seem like pretty good quality. So nice button closure. Let me know in the comments below if you like this pineapple bracelet. Let's just go over everything that we got. As usual, I think probably the edible items are probably my favorite. So here is our cute leather pineapple bracelet. We got our absorbent uh, stone car coaster. That's always a useful item to get. We got our moisturizing body wash from Southern Fleet Bath. That's that's another one that I'm excited about because we can use it for shaving. We got our Polynesian chicken salad mix that I'm probably gonna leave the pineapple out of. So I guess that's what makes it Polynesian. So I'm just gonna leave the Polynesian out of it and just make it a chicken mix, chicken salad mix. Uh, we got our cornucopia popcorn. That sounds really good to me, of course, just as a nice sweet treat. And then finally, we got our lip balm from Raw Lip Balm. So lip or balm standard, I think is the, is the name, but then I think their Instagram handle is at Raw Lip Balm. So this is always a good thing to have though, even though I have a lot of them. Let me know in the comments below, do you love pina coladas? I like pina coladas, but with vodka, so they're a chichi right instead of rum that's like my preference but i love the flavor of pineapple and coconut together so i was really excited about this box and it did not disappoint if you got to this point in the video and you happen to miss the secret password make sure you go back and enter it in the form that is linked for you in the description box below if you appreciated this video please help me out with a thumbs up like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing